Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and this is Fondant Potatoes. Well, today we're going to explore a French technique for cooking potatoes known as pomme fondant or fondant potatoes. Now, this calls for peeling the potatoes and slicing them into cylinder shapes before searing them on the top and bottom to brown them in a skillet. And then they'll be roasted in that skillet with chicken stock and butter until they're super tender. Now, it's one of a thousand ways to cook a delicious potato, but it's got the added bonus of just being a beautiful presentation in the end. Of course, we're gonna do it from start to finish on the grill. So we're gonna start with about three to three and a half pounds of uh, russet potatoes. And try to find ones that are all about the same size and shape, just visually works out better. Time-wise works out better as well, as far as the cooking time goes. And we're gonna get these peeled, all of them peeled, and then we'll go ahead and slice them into our cylinders. So once you've got them peeled, you want to square off the ends. And then we'll cut them roughly two inches. And they stand up just like that. And then we want to give these a soak in some cool water for about 20 minutes to kind of rinse off some of the starch from the surface. So the potatoes have had a soak now. We're going to take them out and get them really dried off before we season them up. So we'll just take each one of these and dry them off with a paper towel. And then we'll be ready to get them seasoned up. Now we're going to season our potatoes with some Cattleman's Grill Trail Dust Red today. Before we hit them with the rub, we're going to just do a little bit of duck fat on the surface to help it stick. And then we'll go ahead and hit the other side with some more duck fat and some more seasoning once we get these into the skillet. Today we're cooking on the Yoder Smokers YS640S pellet grill. We're running it at 500 degrees and currently have the diffuser door out for some direct grilling. So we've got our Finax 12 inch cast iron skillet preheating over the direct flame. I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of our chili infused oil. Uh, any kind of high temp oil will work in this situation, but we need to get a nice crisp on these potatoes before we actually add the butter and stock. So we're going to go seasoned side down, and then we'll go ahead and season this opposite side again with the trail dust. So initially we just want to get a really nice sear on the bottom side of these potatoes then we'll flip them and continue with the cooking process but this will probably take five to ten minutes to get the color we're looking for. So that's pretty much what we're looking for even a little bit darker than that but a nice dark sear and then we'll give these a flip. There we go. Really like to see some of that darker crust on there. So we'll keep these kind of evenly spaced and that's going to give us enough room to add in our six tablespoons of butter as well as four cloves of garlic that have been crushed. You can leave the skin on, it's not going to hurt anything. And then our fresh herbs Got a little bit of rosemary. And you can do any fresh herbs that you love here. We're gonna do rosemary and thyme. And then we'll give this just a couple of minutes for this butter to melt down and start to foam up and then we can add our chicken stock. So once that butter starts to look all foamy like that, that's when we know we're ready to pour in our chicken stock. We're gonna add one cup of stock to the skillet. And then immediately we'll go ahead, cover this up with a lid, move it to the indirect side of the grill. We're just gonna let these cook away until they're nice and tender. Now at this point, you wanna lower the temperature of the grill to 400 degrees. We're gonna finish it out, the rest of the cook, at 400. So this is about 45 minutes into our cook. We're gonna check these with a toothpick there should be almost no resistance, and that's right where we're at. So we're ready to pull these off. 
Well, I mean, I'm just gonna dig in while it's in the skillet here. We're gonna get some of this sauce off the bottom, baste it right over the top. This should be just fork tender, beautiful. Holds together, but the inside should almost be like a mashed potato kind of consistency. I feel like just a little finish of salt on top wouldn't be a bad idea, but we'll taste it first. Mmm. It just falls apart. It melts right in your mouth. And yeah, we could use just a sprinkle of salt, but beyond that, I'm getting all of those flavors. The fat from the butter coats my mouth. It's kind of a richness to it. I mean, that makes sense with all the butter, the chicken stock. And then you're just getting the aromatics, the herbs, the garlic. It's all there. And this will look really beautiful. Plate it up right next to maybe your prime rib. Mm, so good. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out atbbq.com for all the products featured in today's video. If you enjoy the recipe, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below and let's be good to one another. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to atbbq.com slash the sauce. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.